Now at this point, it's almost been a year since ChatGPT was released and obviously it had a huge impact. It continues to change how we work and give us opportunities for boosting our productivity and for getting more work done. And of course, we got that ChatGPT course where we teach you all these prompt engineering techniques that really help you get more out of this amazing tool. But it's not just ChatGPT. GPT. It's also amazing tools like Midjourney, which really help us with creating icons and images for our projects and in our day-to-day -day work, therefore. And it's also tools that build up on the AI built by OpenAI. Because of course, they're exposing that AI that's also powering ChatGPT through their API. And therefore, we've seen a huge amount of tools come up that all use this API and this AI under the hood, aiming to help you in various aspects of your day-to-day -day life. And for example, some tools I've been using a lot over the last months have been GitHub Copilot. Okay, that already existed before ChatGPT, but it is amazing. GitHub Copilot Chat and also Cursor, the Cursor IDE, which is an amazing AI-first IDE. And I have to say, that I'm really impressed by these tools. Now, obviously GitHub Copilot is amazing and you could use it since a couple of years already by now, I guess, but it is an amazing tool that can really speed up development because it gives you all these AI-driven smart suggestions that can really make a difference, especially when it comes to tasks like writing unit tests or CSS code or building complex functions where it's often enough to just choose a good function name and GitHub Copilot then goes ahead and gives you really good code suggestions for code that could go into such a function. So that's amazing. GitHub Copilot chat can be really cool because it basically almost incorporates chat GPT into your IDE, into Visual Studio Code, for example, so that you can ask questions about your code or about errors you're facing in your code right from inside that tool. And the cursor IDE is amazing because it's essentially a fork of Visual Studio Code. So it is like Visual Studio Code, but it has AI based on the OpenAI APIs deeply integrated into it. So you can, for example, generate code right from inside the IDE by opening a prompt there. You then get really good completions and suggestions. You can ask questions about problems and you can, for example, also auto fix errors you might be getting. It gives you a button when you're getting an error in the terminal or in your code and you can press that button to send that error to the AI and the AI will figure out a solution and show you a detailed solution which is then also really easy to implement and execute. So these are all really amazing tools I've been using over the last weeks and months and with GitHub Copilot I guess also years. And together with ChatGPT which is still really amazing and which is still really versatile and Midjourney which can really help with that image and asset generation which we often need to do as developers all these tools combined are really amazing and they really boost my productivity and allow me to get more done or also to take some time off from time to time. Now, as I mentioned before, we do have this best-selling chat GPT course. And in that course, we just added a bunch of new content on the Cursor IDE and GitHub Copilot, but also more on Midjourney and other amazing AI tools you should be aware of so that with this course, we can give you the same productivity boost. So if you're not on board yet, below the video, you find a link to the course with a nice discount. But even if you're not interested in this course, as a takeaway of this video, definitely take a look at the Cursor IDE, GitHub Copilot, and all these amazing tools because you might be able to get a lot out of them.